Lek and Greg Vegan Camp, the 29th of June 2020. Planted some of these strawberry mulberries over here and there and over there. These are amazing, the strawberry mulberry. Have you ever tasted that? It's completely insane. Fabian's climbing tool has been upgraded to a plant hanging thing. The bamboo tree house has been finished and still standing. Yes, and when there are people around, then they don't understand that this is compost. It's uh, only plant materials. Plastic is not a plant material. And I'm like daily going around and picking up plastic around here. Yeah, we're busy, but I'm also getting more busy with picking up plastic. It has been a very dry season and now the rain season is coming so the bananas are coming but because of it has been so dry there are like not a lot of bananas growing but we have a lot of banana flowers now. We need to make some banana flower soup soon. And this is the neighboring land where they usually grow corn and spray like one time per year or so. But now Lek has rented this area to grow Mexican spinach. Charcoal man, we're renting it from, is growing like Nam Dog Mai mangoes here also. It's very good because then we will have like a spray free area neighboring to the north. If we can rent or buy all the land around, then the center area will be like very, very cool. Growing with the mango trees, some planted some pumpkin, the winter squash, Mexican spinach fence extra with the banana. Also planted more banana palms and also more beans. The beans, when they will come up in a couple of months, they, these are so good, so good in the steamer. Beans from the garden with the other fresh foods, it's can't get better, man. I'm trying to keep up with the electric lawnmower so we don't need to hire anybody to come and uh, cut the weeds, the grass. The electric lawnmower can't cut very long grass and weed especially when it gets longer it like it captures the moisture very nice so it's very good for the soil but it's also very hard for the lawnmower but the green and the smell of everything growing is just so nice so now we have the mexican spinach area the rented land the mountains and then we come in here and the original headquarters Banana, palm fence, mango trees, mountains in the background. Yeah. At some point, like a couple of months ago, we were worried about the mango trees because the mango stem borer, like this insect going into the trees and like eating it from the inside but it seems like it's quite under control when when I went like daily to pick up the mangoes then I could like see the branches that were getting eaten and I would just like cut them off and then like it, it eradicated the problem and I could also see that in the areas where the branch was broken by itself under its own weight there were like ants living there so it seems like the ants were going in and cleaning up everything and like destroying and killing the the worm inside the bug the mango stem borer so it seems like everything is good but there are still like some of the main trunks where there's like a little sap coming out i hope that won't be very like if if, if they're like going into main trunk and like living there and eating the main trunk that's not good but uh, right now it seems to be under control and yeah the mango season is over or at least the mango the Nandog Mai mango we still have the other local type a bit over there so 
yeah it was a very very nice good season a lot of mangoes I'm just like had a lot of mangoes it was so nice yeah I even this month I started even though we had some mangoes on the trees I started to eating the frozen mangoes and mango mango banana smoothies it's so good <laughs> I don't remember when the last time I had a good uh, papaya there is one over here but otherwise like the papaya have been like very bad or not edible seems like when the when there are very few papayas and uh, has been dry and then the rain kicks in then the yeah the bugs go and eat everything and they get sick and it's not so good but now the the new flowers are coming so it's getting ready for the next season this is the gate actually there's also a new climbing tool playground for fabian <laughs> can really hang here. The rain has kicked in and the asparagus fields are going growing re really well. This is the new asparagus field and something else growing and some flowers and stuff and, and you can see that the Nandog mice have been taken then the end of season like there was not enough to eat even for us. <gasps> One Nandog my left don't tell anyone. <laughs> and this jackfruit has cracked. It doesn't smell at all, so it doesn't seem that it's uh, ripe. It's just cracked. Couldn't keep up with the growth. And this will probably just go bad. And here are the local mangoes. I'm just waiting for them to, to drop from the tree like this one. Then they're ready to harvest and eat like I had an idea that it would go to somewhere and just grow a lot of food um, and just pick the fruit when it's ripe and I was like thinking oh it's only ripe when it's completely yellow or orange or something but some of these are completely green when they're ripe it's a funny thing and here are the more mature asparagus as you can see this is like this is maybe a little bit you can actually harvest it and eat it raw but I would just let it grow a little bit more also coming up so every other day we can go and uh, harvest a handful of uh, asparagus also every other day I'm enjoying uh, a handful of of long beans really nice raw passion fruit I'm not sure why some fresh passion fruit are producing right now it's like the pre-season of passion fruit but this is like completely unripe and will not be good so it's just like compost sweet bamboo shoots very delicious steamed like they look like this and then you just take them out from the ground you just use a seam I don't know what it's like a spear just take them out from the ground you can steam them. You can actually also eat them raw. Like uh, sold three kilos of these from all our sweet uh, bamboo patches, selling to the neighbors in the village. The galangal is uh, here. Like the galangal root are here like all year round, and they are really nice for soups. I'm making uh, some soups now with uh, organic miso bought from like an organic shop online and the galangal has these flowers cactus dragon fruit the dragon fruit flower it flowers only like one night and then it just fades and then it becomes a delicious fruit here's a like main lime tree it's called manao pan they're not so big not so juicy as the orange type but uh, they're delicious too the guavas but very bug prone maybe I will need to bag some of these sure this morning this will just have fallen this is uh, sugar cane let's see if it's edible some of the long ends are already getting um, are ripe like even the like small flies are trying to lay eggs in these so the first long ends are being eaten now fruit flies laying eggs not good 
very sweet, delicious. So I mean, when the fruit flies start laying eggs on the plants, not always, but sometimes it means that they might be ready to eat. So you can check if you have a, like a fruit tree you don't know, then okay, the fruit flies are going for it, then you can try to pick it. Maybe it needs to ripen up a little, uh, a couple of days on the on your table or something uh, in the protection sheet. But the longans, they don't like you. Just pick them and eat them. Coming up, two months of eating longan. We had some amazing homegrown pineapples. This is like one over here, and the other one is near the bathroom. So it's like they are so good, so sweet. When you leave them until they are come almost completely yellow. And pick them and just before the bugs eat them. We had a like completely off season of these um, mulberries and like they were so good because the rain fell and we had like they were like I mean be one kilo and it was like super delicious. And the great great bamboo for building material. So Lex spotted these. These these are like near our metal storage and there were like bird eggs here like n not many weeks ago now they're like inside the bamboo not even the tokai gecko can get in like has ordered a small bamboo roof extension at the metal hut nice 